like to talk about recycling your clay. Now, besides recycling, I'd like to show you what you do when you get some really wet clay right off the wheel and how to deal with it. So, this is really sticky. It's not good for throwing yet, right now. So, a couple things you can do. You have a big pile of this. What you do is take and make a coil and make it into a horseshoe. Make it into an arch like that. Now, try not to have any peaks and valleys like that because it'll dry first on the peak. What you want to do is have it as smooth as possible and just leave it out. This way the air can circulate right around the whole piece instead of drying unevenly on a piece like this. The other thing you can do is to take some drier clay, this is a little drier, and mix it. So I put a drier piece and the wet piece. And I think I might just take another drier piece to add to it. There. And then you cut it. And slam it. And you keep doing that a lot of times till you're tired of doing it or till it's blended. And you keep going away like that. And then eventually you can wedge it up. And to wedge, what you want to do is put your hands up at the top of the lump of clay and then push it down and away from you using the heels of your hands. Then rock it back up, put your hands back up at the top. Fold it over a little bit so it folds over a little bit like this. And then push that down and away. Now, it's important you stand up when you do this. It's also good if you happen to have a table that's just like the length of your knuckles. That way you can use your body weight. Put one foot in front of the other and arms straight and push it down and away. Down and away. And keep doing this. And as you work, it's going to get faster and faster and faster. And the piece gets kind of long like this. So what you do is you see the folds from rolling it over. Roll it up. Put it on its end around this side. Fold it over and do it again. Now on a smaller piece you can actually bring in the side sides like this. So you're doing it all at one time. Now this actually has a name. It's called bull's head wedging. So you keep doing that. You see how it rotates the clay? Gets a really nice spiral happening. finally have it wedged well enough, the consistency will be even all the way through. There will be no air bubbles. The way to check is to open it up. Cut it in half and look inside. And if there are any air bubbles, keep going. I had one little one. Just get rid of that right now. Still there. I have to be a little more vigorous. This is the aerobic part of ceramics.
there. No bubbles. Very nice. Slam it together. You can bang it into shape. Put it in a bag. And it's ready to use for later. Now make sure you keep your bags closed up tight. Spin it and use a twisty. Or I lose these little guys. So what you do is spin it, turn it over like that. Keeps the air out, keeps the clay fresh. Now, the other day I had some clay that was too hard. So what I did is I took it and wrapped it in a wet towel. I'm going to unwrap it now. And it's a little slimy on the outside but it's nice and soft all the way through. I actually have two pieces here. This one's just a little bit wetter. They're both good. So you can see this one's a little on the wet side. So I could add some drier clay to it, which is what I've got here. So I'll just wedge this whole thing up. If you find you've got softened it up too much, roll it into a coil, put it into the arch, and dry it out that way. Now, if you're impatient like I am, you could have a dry surface like this wood. Now, as I work it, it's getting wet here. I'll just move the pot, the clay over to a dry area and wedge it some more. Some people will wedge on plaster, very absorbent stuff. You can use cement, big pieces. I'll get down on my hands and knees on the cement floor and wedge it that way. That way I can use my whole body. Pick up all those little pieces. Now this clay was just way too hard to use and now it's just right. And just move it around the table a little bit. Bringing that wet that was on the outside and blending it, wedging it together. There, perfect. Doesn't crack when you bend it. So that's how you get your clay back to normal by wedging it. Now, every time you throw on the wheel, make sure that clay is consistent all the way through, a nice even consistency. You don't want it too hard, you don't want it soft, and you really don't want it with hard and soft spaces in it. You want it all very even. If you mess up, piece collapses, don't just squish it back together on the wheel. Take it off, wedge it up, then use it. That's why it's always a good strategy to have a whole pile of little balls of clay. Ready to go. Great, thank you.